start off by saying that I'm actually bummed. I broke my nail right before starting to film today. And I'm like, oh my God, I totally don't even have time to run back to my nail tag. But it kind of just made me feel some type of way. And I'm like, you know what? I'm human. Your nails break. And we don't always have fire nail days like we planned. So, you know, it is what it is. But the show must go on. I also put on a cute band-aid for y'all. We're all friends here, so we're good. Hey everybody, it's Britt Latrice and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here today. So today we're gonna actually get into a little bit of bag talk. We're gonna talk about my Louis Vuitton cans. So I'm gonna share just like the story behind it for me, some pros, some cons, and just ultimately some summarizing thoughts. All right, so let me go grab it actually. Give me one moment. So here she is. Yes. Give you guys a whole full view. This is what the back looks like. So let's talk about it. All right, so the story behind it. The first time I ever laid eyes on this bag, I was just captivated. I was like, oh my God. That's so beautiful. This has to be a part of my collection. I'm not sure when, but she has to be a part of my like collection of bags that I have because I'm not, I don't have a ton of handbags, but this one is so beautiful. I need her in my life. I just do. I saw the reverse monogram one. I like that it had a mix of like, you know, the classic monogram on top the other one and then that reverse on the side, but I, I still want it classic. And I'm like, how do I do this? And I saw that they had this special edition one with the larger size like monogram, but still ultimately still classic like I was seeking. I found this bag this time last year on Trade Z. I was like, oh my God. First I thought the Louis store, they were like, it's sold out and we're not gonna reproduce it. I'm like, all right, all right, okay. So then I found it on Trade Z. And I was like, I personally, this is just me. I am not a fan of buying luxury goods and not having a return policy. You do not know how you will feel when you get the item. So I think it is in your best interest with the investment to make sure that it does have a return policy. That way, if you change your mind, no issues, like you'll get your money back and you'll be all right. Because I'm not here for like just spending so much money and than not being able to get it back at any cost. I'm not a fan of store credit, personally. I don't really care how much I'm spending. I don't want store credit. I want my money back if I wasn't satisfied with my item. But that's just how I am. Everybody's different. You know, where there's a will, there's a way. Some people can make away with that. I just, mm -mm, that don't work for me. And again, especially for luxury goods. So here's the pro tip for trades, in my opinion. So look to see who's actually the seller. Because the seller, could be like anybody. A lot of times it's just small boutiques who just need like that extra marketplace of eyeballs to make sure that they get that sale. So what I did was I clicked, I found that it was actually just like a small vintage boutique. They had a seven day return policy, which is still quick, but it's a return policy if I'm dissatisfied. And I actually bought it directly from them. And it was actually a few hundred dollars cheaper buying directly from them and no tax versus buying from Tracy. And I'm like, what? So make sure you look at who the seller is. Sometimes it is just like an independent person who needs Tracy, but sometimes it actually is like a boutique that just wants that extra amplification and eyeballs and you can get it straight from there and it could be a better deal. Kind of depends on the time, depends on the boutique, all those circumstances, but just another shopping tip and a way to like go about getting the luxury items that you want. So yeah, um, that is how I found her and purchased her. I was super excited. I ultimately got it with everything. So I got the box, the strap, the lock and key, um, as well as like the papers and dust bag. Everything was there. She was in like new condition and it was just like a, a really nice love story. <laughs> just, yes, yes, yes. Like, don't you love when you have a good shopping day and shopping moment? I do. <laughs> okay, so let's get into pros and cons. So the pro is the shape of the bag. This bag is just so visually striking and gorgeous. It literally is a piece of art to me and it's so nice so i just like that just it's so beautiful it's so uniquely made you you find like barrel bags and different things but i have not seen one quite like this just 
period in my opinion especially by even other designers i know some people come up with comparable things but i just haven't seen it and i think they did a really good job when they created this bag back in like um i think it was released in 2019 so i think they did a really good job when they created this bag another pro is that for me i've always wanted like a louis vuitton trunk in my life i'm just putting that into the universe you know what let's just put it into the universe i want a louis vuitton trunk i love louis vuitton trunks and i think they're a beautiful part of people's interior design when they have them in their house like old ones and just in the store they just look so cool so to me this is like getting a trunk and it's not a trunk, but it's almost like the structure nature. If you like the trunks, just the fact that they have a lot of structure or like hat bags, they, this to me is like having a trunk in your house in some regards. Like you don't want to go all in, but you want it like a piece of that trunk life. Like this to me does that just with the structure, the shape, and they have little trunk bags and different things too, but I just think this is like a very visually unique, enticing way to have that in your home. And it's still functional because sometimes, you know, the trunk is just gonna sit in your home. So you can take this outside. Hey, hey. Another pro is that it fits so much more than you think. You can put everything that you need in this bag and be fine for the day. Like seriously, it fits your phone. I will open it, um, but if it's your phone, if it's your essentials, you know, I wouldn't try to stuff it depending on the way that you carry it. If you like the top handle way. So this is the inside. You see, I have the papers and I actually have, um, so I do have a bag organizer in here. So as you can see, this is the inside. It's very large. So the other pro is that you can carry it multiple ways. I mentioned that it does have a strap. So you could just put the strap on and it could be a crossbody and it does have this part so it can like just lean against your body a lot easier instead of just like kind of like rolling off of your body at all times. You know, the top handle way, the choice is yours, boo. It's really nice in that regard. So some cons. I don't know if you noticed this already, but you have to open this bag with two hands. There's no way you're going to get this bag open with one hand. Like she needs, you got to kind of, it's not, you know, you kind of got to like... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a sexy open and close situation like it really oh, oh god i hope i don't get lipstick on it now i mean you kind of gotta you gotta have that firm grip that secure hold to get this bag open so that is a con especially if you're busy um and you're doing something you it's not a bag that you could just like you know multitask with like most women are used to with their bags another one is that it's just not practical in my opinion now everybody's different um i think this is for a special occasion like this is definitely for the weekends when you want to dress up and that's just my opinion i do think you could wear it very casually i just with the design i think the other one feels a little bit more street to me but this one feels a little bit more formal so i've been struggling to carry it um just regularly because it's not the first one that I'll go for because of the inconvenience of the two hands. I do not really have any interest in wearing it from a crossbody standpoint because I don't think it looks the greatest that way. I think it looks the best handheld. I just do. Um, you can't stuff it with that much if you do do the handheld because it will get heavy. So nobody wants that. The other thing is there is some concern since the way that it opens is that in time there could be some wear just around this area. Hard to say what will happen because you don't know until you know, you know? <laughs> so yeah. So summarizing thoughts for me, she's gorgeous. I love her. I need to carry this bag though more. If I don't find a way to carry this bag more within the next year, I'll give it another year. I think I need to sell it. I think I need to sell it and trade it for something that's more practical for me. I do purchase bags to wear them. I do not purchase them to just sit and look at them. I think I do need to be wearing my bags because they are such an investment um, and I do want to get my money's worth out of them and I just personally don't think I've done that so far. So I'm going to make it a personal mission to like wear her out, take her out with me, but I can't say that it's the first bag that I go to grab and I personally have like watched a few other videos and YouTubers talk about this bag and I've heard a lot say the same thing. So I said all that to say it really depends on you and I don't know for me right now if it's gonna have those use cases that I'm looking for especially just in the times that we live in when you know we're just not going out and we ain't hitting the streets um to the degree that we used to um prior to now so 
there's that. Let me know your thoughts though. If you guys have this and you, you wear her, tell me about it. Whatever you wanna do, like help me because I, I really wanna keep her and I really wanna like love her the way that she needs to be loved, but like y'all, she just ain't practical, she ain't practical. But she's beautiful and I think there could be use cases if I am more intentional about creating them for her. So that's everything that I have for you all today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye.